Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming down today. Um, and as you all know, you will be attending Washington, uh, D.C. to see President-elect Barack Obama's inauguration. And um, this all started as an idea last school year. It was uh, the springtime. Barack Obama was showing some early gains. And personally, I was surprised that he could actually do it against Hillary Clinton. And um, while uh, Lawanda Brown, a teacher from Northwest College Prep, uh, her and I were talking, and I said, you know, it'd be wonderful if we could get some of our students to go to Washington, D.C. to see the inauguration, to see Barack Obama become president if he were to make it. And um, she really loved the idea. I said, you know, you, you know last year she took some students to uh, Paris from this school, and I knew she would be the one to talk to. And, and as we started discussing it more, and I said, you know, college, Northwest College Prep, their main motto is law and government. It'd be great for them to see it. But also, Northeast students should have the opportunity to go there and be a part of this, you know, history in the making. So we met up with Miss Williams from uh, Northeast College Prep and began to talk about having you guys go to Washington, D.C. Um, Ms. Uh, Brown then began writing letters to representatives and senators in the United States Congress to see if we could actually get some tickets to the inauguration. Unfortunately, we couldn't get tickets for everybody, as you all know. But Representative uh, uh, Louise Slaughter's office contacted us, and she said personally she could supply us, not with 30, but two tickets. So it made it very difficult for us as a school, as a building, as two schools coming together to come up with one student to go on this trip. So as a group, we decided to create this essay contest to choose one student to attend the inauguration with one of our chaperones. And five of you stepped up and wrote, or six, stepped up, wrote essays. And they were all excellent essays. There was a committee of myself, Miss Tanya Wilson, and also uh, Mr. Michael Nobles. We all sat down read each essay, and then met and discussed which one would be the winner. We selected one. So this student and I, we're going to really get to know each other because we're going to spend our entire day together. Quinn Pedraza. Well, it means everything. You know, I've been watching him ever since the primaries, and I actually got to vote for him. So I'm happy to go see the man that I voted for. Are you surprised that you won? Yeah, this? yeah. I thought it was going. I thought it wasn't going to be me. So I'm very shocked. What does this mean to you? I mean, as far as I mean, this is something you can tell your kids and their kids and their kids for years to come. It's a big historic moment. Yeah, and um, yeah, it just says I'm going. I can't wait you know, to go home and tell my mom. You know. <laughs> And she paid for this trip. So. <laughs> I am taking 15 students who are our top students. And um, actually one student, Quentin Pedraza, is a student who won from our, from our school, who is also a former student of mine um, in my AP history class. So I can speak to how much he was into the election and um, debating about who would win and we followed it very closely and he was very passionate about it and still is and I am very proud to be um, taking him on this journey. <laughs> 